want you guys to shout. Here we go. One, two, three. All right, that was good, but we want our friends at the Marina Bay to hear us. Let's go once again. One, two, three. And that, ladies and gentlemen, and now it's control, going. It's our party, Longbow. Longbow, control, drill, engage. Drill, engage, Longbow. Let's give the pilots another warm of applause. Let them hear you scream! And that was a heartbreak turn by our Apache. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give them another huge round of applause. Now next up we have our Army's Leopard Tank! Make sure your cameras are fixed because this happens only one! Ladies and gentlemen, yeah, we go! Oh my goodness! That is the strength of our leopard tank, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely effortless. Let's give them a huge round of applause. What a beast! Now just like the leopard in the animal kingdom, our very own leopard tank is fast, mighty and strong. Now the Leopard Tank is equipped with the 120mm L44 Swoop Ball Gun. It is operated with a stabilized control system which enables our tanks to maintain accuracy even while on the move. Now our Leopard Tanks have been utilized in various missions and exercises in the Exercise Master Strike and Exercise one B. Ladies and gentlemen, our tank commander for today is none other than Sir Sergeant Bayani, as well as Lance Corporal Putra. So let's give them a huge round of applause. And if you look to your left, you will see our armored engineer vehicle with its huge claws in front. Don't keep your cameras on your phones just yet, because here we go! Ladies and gentlemen, absolutely effortless pushing the carcass out of the way is our AEV. Now the AEV first premiered in the NDP 2015 and is used for counter mobility and survival military missions. Now did you know the AEV can also remove battlefield obstacles and bleach anti-tank minefields. Our AEV commander for today, 2nd Sergeant Philiton, our Operator 1st Sergeant Kitra, and our Engineer 3rd Sergeant Yejin He. Our armored fighting vehicle, the Bionic, is also coming into picture right now. Now the Bionics was actually designed locally to meet our operational requirements. Both the Defense Science Technology Agency and Singapore Technologies Engineering enhance its overall capabilities. The Bionics is fitted with a two-man turret housing a combat-proven 25mm cannon and a 7.62mm machine gun. In the interior of this vehicle, it has a conventional layout with a driver and a power pack in front, a turret in the center and the true compartment in the rear. It can accommodate a crew of three and up to seven troops. Check out that turn, ladies and gentlemen. That is our Bionics. Now the Bionics has a stabilized two-man turret system that enables it to drive from three to be stable and comfortable. Despite the heavy combat weight, the Bionics can move up to a maximum speed of 70 kilometers per hour. And right now, we have our Barrex entering sensor stage, introduced in November 2016, is an extremely versatile vehicle. At the same time, we're having our infantry fighting vehicle, the Terex Infantry Aerial Vehicle. Also little as our Terex stomps into the sensor stage. Right now, our soldiers are making their way ever closer to you. And as they walk up the grandstand, do observe the 
equipment that they are wearing. Now the load bearing vest enhances maneuverability and protection for our soldiers as they go through both conventional and urban environments. Now take a look at our professional soldiers, all geared up, looking sharp and capable of taking out any defenses inside. Now did you know these soldiers and the majority of our performance today are actually full-time national servicemen. In spite of their youth, they are a highly professional group of soldiers. Now the Terex, which is making its maneuvers right now, is highly integrated with the mobility, protection, firepower, and other key subsystems. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a loud cheer for the Terex and our infantry soldiers. All right, that was goodbye. See our soldiers deserve a little bit more. Let's go again. Let's give them a huge cheer. Our high mobility artillery rocket systems. Hi Mars for short, we will be joining the ranks for this magnificent display of power. Our light strength vehicle Mark II is a light fast attack vehicle and can be fitted with either an anti-tank guided missile or an automatic grenade launcher. It can seat up to six soldiers, is highly maneuverable and can reach speeds of up to 110 kilometers per hour. Check them out as they do their perfect figure of eight. That execution is absolutely flawless. Let's give them a huge round of applause. Our high masters are highly mobile and guided rocket launcher. And to ensure pinpoint accuracy, its armaments are fully GPS guided, able to engage targets up to 70 kilometers away. Now the SEF witnessed the commissioning of the very first high mass battery on 5th September 2011. Our HIMARS is a highly efficient rocket system which enables the SEF to respond decisively to new challenges in operational environments. A round of applause ladies and gentlemen for all these vehicles and their amazing crew. In today's complex security environment, it is important that we as Singaporeans remain vigilant and look out for security strengths. We must stay united and strong and must know how to respond together during trying times. Our next act showcases our Army's ability to respond and protect our home 